adding more pollutants, adding more mercury, adding more sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide is going to is going to worsen the, the health of not just the people living next to the coal plants, but all throughout northern New Mexico and the, the southwest. People in northwest New Mexico already live with two coal-fired power plants. This is really adding insult to injury. We're blessed and cursed by the natural resources we have. We're one of the most mature natural gas fields. We also have uranium, and then we have the two existing coal plants. So there's extensive energy infrastructure everywhere, and it's relentless. I live in Farmington, and I'm not willing to allow another coal plant into our region under such just miserable circumstances. My clan derived directly from this site. I am born for the Red Cheeks clan. We're standing here at the proposed site of the Desert Rock Energy Project on Navajo tribal lands in Burnham, New Mexico. One of the reasons why we're standing up for protecting this site is because of the historical dwellings that are here. Uh, there's many sacred sites and burial sites. So building a power plant in this part of the region, it's, it's not an endeavor that you know, the Navajo Nation needs to, needs to take now. So that's what Desert Rock is all about. That's what some of the other economic development is all about. Getting back to standing on our own two feet, putting food on the table for our families, putting shoes on little feet. That's what we're talking about. There'll be some jobs, yes, for a few, but uh, the rest of us will be inheriting the, uh, the, the, the dirty air. Everybody will be <coughs> breathing the um, air. They just didn't care about the people. The proposed Desert Rock Energy Project is right in my front yard. I just, I just knew that this was the wrong thing because, I, you know, when I was little, my grandparents taught me that you're not brought into this world just to be here. You're brought here for a reason, and your reason is to protect, you know, the Mother Earth, Father Sky, and also your people. When, when I say protect your people, I mean everybody, not just the Navajo people. The uh, title Bleeding Sky is the red paint running down the uh, turquoise lines. Uh, that represents the, uh, the way we used to approach Mother Nature with respect. I'm, I'm against fossil fuel. I think there are better alternative wind power, solar. Renewable energy is an atonement to kind of rebuild what, what was lost these past years. And as youth, we're really promoting this because it's our generation that will be affected by this. Well, I think the Desert Rock plant really is, is it's about two issues. It's about justice and it's about health. And um, we know that if you add another plant, we're going to see a, a, a rise in, in asthma rates, a rise in strokes, heart attacks, things like that. We are very concerned about a third large coal-fired power plant being put there. Um, we've already seen problems with mercury. The area up there just, it appears, has just gone non-attainment for ozone. In the case of the Desert Rock plant, as currently designed, no. It's, it will not be clean. And so we, we you know, are not interested in seeing more mercury added to the atmosphere. Clean coal is a dirty lie. How long before we have to see ourselves um, self-destruct um, by digging up more coal and digging up more coal and polluting the earth to death?